Hey, I'm Denny Chapman and welcome to The Gun Show. Today we're featuring the BDU exclusive Gen 3 Glock 17 FDE and some special content from a USPSA competition. Remember guys, you can always go back and watch this entire episode after the fact on the Gun Show YouTube channel and on excluded.com, spelled X-C-L-U-D-E-D. -E Make sure you check it out and subscribe there as well. And thank you for your engagement. You guys have been hitting those buttons. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and helping us set a positive 2A algorithm on social media. We really appreciate it. And you can help it right now simply by dropping a note in the comment section and let us know where you're watching from. All right, guys, we're going to kick things off with a split screen point of view video from a USPSA match I competed in last weekend. Check this out. Are you ready? Stand by. That was a super fun match. I was shooting a brand new custom made pistol caliber carbine from Da Vinci Manufacturing right down here in Florida. And we're planning on bringing you more competition content as well as a feature on Da Vinci Guns in the near future. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and catch all the other great content there as well as on excluded.com. Now we're gonna take a closer look at this pistol right after our safety segment. It's our proud tradition to include gun safety in each and every presentation. So let's take a moment and review the four cardinal rules. Here we go. Rule number one, treat all guns as if they're loaded at all times. Number two, never ever point your gun at anything you're not willing to shoot or destroy. Number three is your trigger finger. Keep that finger away from the trigger until you are ready to fire. And number four is your target. Always know your target, what's in front, beside, behind, and beyond that target. The four cardinal rules of gun safety, guys, if you watch this show often enough, you're going to have them memorized and you're going to be a safe and responsible gun owner next time you go out there and enjoy your Second Amendment rights. All right, I'm excited. Let's check this out. This is the BDU exclusive Gen 3 Glock 17 in FDE. Now, the Glock 17 is arguably one of the most widely used 9mm pistols in the world today. We see it in law enforcement, military use. We can count up to 48 countries around the globe that currently use the Glock 17. It was developed back in the 1980s and it uses striker fire technology. This is not a double action pistol. Let's talk about that striker firing a little bit. Striker fired guns, the striker spring is actually cocked during the trigger pull process with Glocks. It's a very interesting process as there's no hammer necessary to hit that firing pin, which we call the striker. In this design, the frame of the gun and the overall profile can be smaller because, you know, there's no hammer here. It's not necessary to have that extra space to house that hammer or to have that hammer sticking out here. The frame itself and the magazine body and several other components of the Glock are made from high strength nylon based polymer. So this polymer is actually more resilient than carbon steel and even more so than many steel alloys. This pistol is shipped with two 17 round magazines and it also comes with a magazine loading device which is pretty cool. Now since I picked this gun up let's talk about safety one more time. We're going to check two times visually and physically with our finger to make sure this gun is unloaded. And by the way today our cameras are remote and there are no production personnel in this area of the studio today. Producers over that side today, so uh, we're gonna be aiming safely in this area with our unloaded gun, which we're gonna check right now. No magazine, empty chamber. We're checking twice visually and physically. Magazine's out, chamber's empty. Now we are good to go. Now we're just gonna check out some of the other features of this pistol right here. 
It has a four and a half inch barrel. Now, Glock barrels have polygonal rifling. Uh, it's hard enough to pronounce. I'm not sure if I can spell it, but I can tell you what it is. <laughs> this, the design of the polygonal rifling actually eliminates the traditional grooves that collect that copper, the lead fouling, and the other materials that can eventually affect the accuracy of your pistol. And um, because it's polyg polygonal, instead of having those uh, traditional grooves, it also provides a better gas seal behind the bullet as it's traveling down the barrel. And that provides more consistency and helps with accuracy as well. The Gen 3 Glock was the first to include this accessory rail that you can see under the barrel here. Glock calls it the universal Glock rail. It's ready to mount your weapon light or your laser. The Gen 3 was also the first to include these thumb rest indentations on either side of the grip and I'll also point out to you guys, the takedown lever, levers also help to serve as index points for your support hand thumb and your trigger finger when you want to show it up high and off the trigger. And by the way, guys, if you're at the range, it doesn't matter if you're a competition shooter or not. If the gun's in your hand and you intend to have your finger off the trigger, don't just have it hanging around here in the trigger guard, have it up high so that the range officer can look through that trigger guard and see your finger's nowhere near it. And this is a surefire way to show that, no pun intended, <laughs> surefire, that your finger is off that trigger. Let's give you a little tip while we're at it here, guys. Let's talk about our pistol grip here. So we want a nice and high grip. By the way, the beaver tail and the undercut in the trigger guard allow us the opportunity to have a very nice high grip here. Now with your support hand, here's what you wanna do. Don't go back and watch Miami Vice and do the old teacup, guys, because it's not gonna provide you with that control and the stability that you need to shoot this pistol. This is not the way to do it. What you wanna do is you wanna wrap your hand up high, touch the underside of the trigger guard with your support hand, wrap your fingers around. Instead of coming straight back, come up in about a little bit of a 45 degree angle, and you're gonna fill in as much space as possible on the other side of the gun with the palm of your hand. I'm lining my thumbs up, I'm pointing my thumbs in the direction I wanna shoot, and this is gonna give me really um, uh, control, and control means accuracy. Let's talk about some of these other features here. Here is the slide lock right here, guys. Uh, this is the magazine release button on the other side here. You can see it's black in color. As I mentioned before, I really appreciate the beaver tail and the trigger undercut. And you know, when you can get a nice high grip, it definitely gives you more control. It's also got the finger grooves here. It's got texturing on the front strap and the back strap. There's some more terminology for you, front strap back strap. It also has texturing on the front of the trigger guard here as well. Some people like to wrap their support uh, support hand uh, pointy finger around the front of the trigger guard and that's that's just fine. If it works for you, that's great. I think Lena Mitchell it shoots that way and uh, just depends on how you're built and what works for you. We're going to provide you fundamental tips from time to time, but often you can modify them to suit yourself. The magwell is also slightly beveled and that's gonna to help to assist in mag changes. Here's another tip on your mag changes, guys. When you pick up your magazines, line your finger up with the front of the mag where the uh, uh, tip of the bullet is, and that's gonna help you identify the mag well without actually looking. You can use your finger to line it up, use the palm of your hand to push it in and get back to work. Um, I brought in one of my competition mag wells to show you there are a lot of accessories available out there that you can modify these Glocks with, especially the Glock 17. This is made by Dawson Precision. Uh, you insert it there, you put the screw in there and you've automatically got a nice big magwell. And speaking of magazines, I brought in some of my competition magazines as well. Uh, this is a, a higher capacity. Uh, this is a 22 round capacity magazine. Started out as a standard Glock mag. I added a Taylor Freelance base pad and now I can fit 22 rounds in that. If I wanna shoot open class, I can use this uh, magazine. It's a 27 round magazine, also with the Taylor Freelance. And if I wanna shoot all day without reloading, <laughs> maybe not all day, but a lot more, I'll have this 43 round magazine here. Started out as a standard Glock 33 round mag. I put the Taylor Freelance, just one of my 
favorite aftermarket accessories on this magazine. And I often use this in my pistol caliber carbine. Also, and you can find this on the BDU site, this is made by ETS. This is a 40 round Glock compatible magazine. This one's kind of cool because it's translucent. You can see through it and see how many rounds you have left or don't have left. And as you can see, this one is empty. So there are a lot of great aftermarket parts out there, guys. Uh, it's really easy to even to change out your trigger. This uh, trigger pull is probably feels about five and a half pounds. That's about what it feels to me, which I think is perfectly acceptable for a self-defense handgun. But if you plan to use this in competition, you might want to trick it out even a little bit more. And as with all Glocks, Glocks are super easy to field strip and maintain. Um, I've cycled the action, obviously, after a safety check. You want to pull the trigger in a safe direction. You're going to pull the slide back just a little bit. This is a technique that I use to do that. I wrap my hand around. I pull the slide back. You can see there's a little gap there. At this time, you can pull the two takedown levers down and slide the slide up. Now we're into two pieces. We're going to take two pieces to four pieces. We take the guide rod off. It has a spring on it and we have the barrel. Now we're down to four pieces. It's just that easy, guys. Um, reassembly is just as easy. We're going to put, by the way, before we reassemble, I want to point this part out to you. Let's go back to the B cam and see if we can get just a little bit closer view of this button right there. You see the button right above my finger there? That is the striker block. Now the striker safety basically keeps that firing pin, which we call the striker, from moving forward. It physically keeps the trigger, uh, um, makes it drop safe basically. The trigger physically can't move forward until the button is pushed and the button is pushed during the trigger pull only. Now let's talk about reassembly. We'll get that barrel back in there. Even with the light shining in my eyes, I've done this so much, I could probably do it with my eyes closed and we'll get her all back together. And now we are back in action with the Glock 17 Gen 3 in FDE. What a great gun, guys. Check it out on the Big Daddy Unlimited member site. And if you're not a member, you can hit the link in the description. It's around on your screen here somewhere. You can join BDU today for a trial membership for 99 cents. You'll have a full 30-day trial membership, full benefits during that time. Access to not only this cool product, but over 300,000 other awesome Second Amendment related items on our fantastic website. Guns, ammo, optics, holsters, accessories, survival gear, lots of other cool Second Amendment related stuff. And as a member, you'll have access to our customer service department. We're very proud of these people. They're my friends, live people working right here in our Gainesville, Florida headquarters, take their job very seriously, and they're very proud to take your calls, answer your questions with their expert knowledge, and give you and me that VIP customer service that we expect and that we deserve. All right, guys, my time is officially up. Thanks for watching. We hope everybody enjoyed the show. Have a great day, and we'll see you again soon on The Gun Show.